Hi, and thanks for joining. It's Amit from Unlimited Elements. Today in the tutorial, I'm going to show a question I got from Gabriel, and he's asking, how can I make this code pen into an Elementor editable widget? And this question comes up a lot from people that have found cool code pens and they want to create these pens into an Elementor widget. Now you're probably asking what's so special about this widget since it just looks like a timer countdown and what's special about it is it's not a countdown it's a count up. So he didn't know how to achieve this he found a code pen on code pen and now he wants to create this into a Elementor widget. He's using, of course, our tool, which is called Unlimited Elements, which has a widget creator inside of it. And he tried to do it, and he found uh, some problems. He doesn't know why it didn't work, so I decided to make a tutorial for the whole community so anyone can use this and do this. Everything I'm going to show is 100% free. You don't need to buy anything or purchase anything. You can just uh, start working. So we have this code pen that he found online. And now we're going to create it into a widget. A couple things before we start bringing this into WordPress, we need to change. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a duplicate of his code pen and the way I'm going to do this, of course, you need to register to CodePen and log in, which is also free. And I'm going to click the fork button. Once I click the fork button, what this does, it creates a duplicate. And now instead of this being uh, associated to Gabriel, now it is associated to me. And this pen is in my account. So now I'm the owner of this code. The next step is changing the SCSS to regular CSS. The reason why we're going to do that is that Elementor or WordPress do not know how to handle SCSS language, but they do know how to handle CSS language. To change this from SCSS to CSS, we're going to click the small drop down arrow over here, and I'm going to click View Compiled CSS. What this does, it just changes the SCSS to regular CSS. You might uh, encounter a similar problem with HTML. Right now, we don't have it. But if you will, you might have a different HTML uh, type over here. And you can do the same, which is view compiled uh, HTML. Another thing I like to do is to save this and delete the SCSS. Uh, the reason why is uh, because I might not finish the whole process right now, so I want it to be saved. To save this, we're going to need to copy the whole part over here, go into Settings, under the CSS tab. We're going to change the CSS processor to None, Save and Close, and now and uh, what's going to happen is it won't know how to handle the CSS. So I need to delete the old CSS in the uh, SCSS format. And I'm going to put my uh, compiled CSS, which I copied earlier, to the clipboard. Now you can see it's writing two unsaved changes. The reason for that is until you save your first version, it won't do automatic save. So I'm just going to change... And the name here to count up timer and I'm gonna click save from the moment you save the first time it's going to do auto save for every change you do next step is going into the JavaScript over here and what I'm searching for is dollar signs dollar signs can be problematic for us and what we're going to need to do with them is change them to a different string, which is small j, big Q, and U-E-R-Y, which is jQuery. But what's important is the lower and uppercase letters. So everything is small except for the Q. And 
everywhere you see a dollar sign, you're going to want to change that. The reason is um, that uh, it may uh, cause conflicts with WordPress or Elementor, so that's the way to handle them. I see it's not auto-saving, so I'm just going to save again. Perfect. And the next step is starting to bring this into Elementor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going into dashboard of my WordPress. Make sure you install Unlimited Elements. It's a free plugin. You can find it in the plugins repository by searching for Unlimited Elements. Just install and activate and you're set up to go. Over here, what you're going to see is a widgets catalog and you're going to add a new widget by clicking the Add Widget button. Just make sure before you add a widget that you're placed in the category you want to add the widget in. So right now I'm in the Extras category and I'm going to click Add Widget. I'm going to give that widget a name. Counter time up instead of time down which what usually timers do I'm gonna click tab the widget name is populated automatically click add widget perfect and over here you can see we have an empty widget inside of Elementor this will already appear so uh, you will see it but it will be empty to fill it in, we're going to double click. And the first thing uh, I usually do is add an icon. This is the icon which you will see uh, inside of Elementor. So I'm gonna, just going to use a clock icon and click HTML. Now the next steps is HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and includes. These are very easy steps. So let's see how it goes. First one, HTML, copy paste. Second one, CSS, copy and paste. Third one, JavaScript, copy and paste. And the last one is G JS, CSS includes. Now over here, we know this is using a jQuery because there were dollar signs and we change them to the word jQuery. So I'm just gonna click the library, which is called jQuery. These are predefined libraries, which you can use. They're pre pretty popular. So any one of them, you can just click on the checkbox. It will load it automatically to the page. And we need to check if there are more libraries loading into this page. To do this, we're gonna click settings and go to the JS. Down here, you can see the libraries that are loaded into this code pen. Now, uh, as I showed before, we already loaded the jQuery library that we need. But this other library, which is jQuery easing, we have not loaded yet. So I'm just going to copy this link, which is a link to the file. And I'm going to paste it over here inside of JS includes. Click tab, and you can see that the name is filled in over here, which means that uh, it knows how to find the file. And this file is going to be loaded using this link, which is called a CDN link. I'm sure a lot of you might be familiar with it. I'm going to click update to save. And just to make a really quick check that this is working, I'm going to click preview widget. And this is just an inline preview to see that it's working, that the JavaScript is loaded, that the HTML, CSS don't have any conflicts. So it's just a way to really quickly check that it's working before we're going to open a new page in Elementor and uh, start editing it. I'm going to click edit this widget. So we're back into the editing mode. And the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to make some stuff editable because right now we have a widget but we don't have any settings. So the first setting, the most important setting in a counter time up or time down is the date you want to count uh, down or up to. So I'm going to copy this string which is the date in time and I'm going to click 
attributes, which are fields. These are the editable fields. Over here in the text field, I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it time. And in the default value, I'm just going to paste the string. Now, what we do with this string is we go back to where we took it from, which is the JavaScript tab. And I'm going to select the string. And on the right side, this list represents any item that you add in the attributes. So right now we have only one. The blue ones are the one that you've added. And I'm going to click on it, and it will replace the selected text on the left side. So click and change. And that's about it. So now this will be a editable field. Let's just make a couple more because uh, some of you might not want English and you want might want the label to be editable so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, make the days hours minutes and seconds uh, labels to editable so we're gonna call it day label and put it over here Go inside of the HTML and replace that. The hours. Perfect. And let's do minutes. Label. Click tab. Paste it in. HTML replace the attribute and last one add attribute seconds label paste it in add attribute HTML and replace that perfect so now these four are editable not only the start time and the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add an option to change the typography for the number and label. For that we have attributes as well. So the first one is going to be number typography. I'm going to click add attribute. Over here in the fields I'm going to search for the typography field and I'm going to call it number typography. Perfect. In the CSS selector, I'm going to give the CSS class that we have in the HTML, which is number. Perfect. Let's do the same thing with the label. I'm going to copy the class name, add attribute. We're already in attribute type typography. Label typography. And over here, to make a selector, we need to uh, write dot and the name of the class. Let's just make sure over here we have a dot as well. Perfect. Let's click Update. Go into Pages to test this and add a new page. Edit with Elementor, of course. On the left-hand side, we will have the uh, widget library. I'm going to search for the word up, which is our counter time up. As you can see, we have our icon that we selected earlier. I'm going to drag that inside. And very cool. We have our widget. And it's working. The JavaScript is working. We can change the date if we want. We can change the labels if we want. For example, if you want to take the S's off, you can. And let's just check out the typography. Perfect. This is working as well. Maybe let's give it a different font. <laughs> Very cool. And let's go for the label. Perfect. So everything is working. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, uh, you can post them. I'm going to include this widget inside of our uh, widget library. 
so it will be free to download and uh, once you use unlimited elements and that's about it so see you next time bye bye